In this video, I'm going to go over the process of UV mapping the hammer head. Uh, if you take a look at this, you can see that the UVs that were created by default are a complete mess, and that's just a product of the modeling techniques that I use to create this. Um, there's tons of seams, they're all overlapping, that just won't work. Um, it would be impossible to paint a texture on there. So if you look, you can see that when you turn on the checkers, it looks like a complete mess. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to start by doing a planar mapping in the Z axis because that is the axis that's perpendicular to all of these side faces. So I'm going to hold down shift, click on planar and make sure Z axis is selected and project. So get something that looks like that. Then I'm going to select all of the faces here and easiest thing way to do that is if I go into drag mode. So I'm going to drag to select all of those faces and then I am going to again hold down shift planar and with these it is the X axis that's perpendicular to those faces. So I'll choose project from X and project and those have been projected. Then I will select the faces on the underneath part here. Oops. If you hold down shift while you're dragging, you can select more if you had already let go. If you hold down control, you can deselect. All right, that will work. So with these, it's the Y axis that's most perpendicular, um, although these aren't, but it will work okay. So hold down shift, planar, choose Y and project. So from doing that, I've already created some of the seams. And see, I've got seams along here, seams along here. Um, I need to create a seam. I'm going to go back to pick mode. If I go into edge mode, I want to create a seam that is along here. Again, I'm holding down shift as I'm clicking to select more edges. And then I'm going to go down to cut and sew, cut, and that will add a seam there. And I'm going to have to add in these little edges to meet up with this part. All right. Then I can start thinking about adding in the seams where I want to basically cut it off at this area. So I'm going to double click on that edge. and then click cut. So that has now been separated. So I then need to be able to, in order for this piece to unfold properly, right now it's completely um, together all around here. There's no seam. So I need to add in a seam so it can unfold. So I will Select that seam and do cut. All right, so now that I have all those seams, if I didn't miss anything, oh, I need to add in some seams for these interfaces here. So I'm going to
and a cut. And that one I didn't mean to get, so I'll sew that. All right, that seems like it makes sense. All right, so now I can select all of these UV shells and then do unfold. And it will unfold them all on top of each other, but if I turn on the checkers, you'll see that they actually are all unfolded pretty well. Uh, the only one that didn't unfold well is this piece here, and that one I need to hold down shift planar, make sure Y axis is selected, and project, and then again I'm just going to select these all again and unfold, and then come down here to arrange and layout, orient shells, and then optimize. And then I want to get the um, textile density all even on these pieces. This, uh, this head is all made of the same material, so we would want all the UVs to have the same textile density in order to be, make sure that the scale of the texture is the si same across all of them. So I'm going to select this piece and come up to Transform, choose Get to get the textile density, and then select all the pieces, choose Set. So now you can see that the squares are the same size on all of the pieces. Then I just have to come in and start arranging these pieces. So again, ultimately I'm going to want them all in this 0 to 1 space, but for working purposes I can kind of move them all out and adjust them around. I have to figure out what that is. All right, I forgot, I missed a little piece here, so I am going to select these two edges. And you can see that the edges over here were selected, and then come down and do so, oh, undo that, control Z, and do stitch together, and that will stitch those together. So now, ultimately, I want to put the UVs for both of these pieces all in this 0 to 1 space. So I'm going to select all of these guys and scale them down some, and then start moving stuff around. I actually, I can try selecting all of these pieces and then coming over here and going to Layout. And that does it okay, but um, not actually as well as I would like it to. So I'm just going to do it manually. So I get move out these pieces for right now. I'm going to scale all these pieces down a little bit. As you're working, you'll find that you have to play around with this a little bit to get things ultimately looking as good as they can be. This, I'm going to rotate around like that. Select those two pieces and scale them down a little bit. Now, ultimately, you want to have as little wasted space as possible. And 
and you want to try to keep things that have to have the same material type um, equal tens texel density. So I actually need to make sure that this bottom piece, which is attached to the grip, is the same texel density as this piece. So I need to select that, do get, and then set, and you can see that that ends up being a little bit smaller. Uh, the other thing that is can make it a little bit easier to texture is if you keep your things oriented uh, vertically and horizontally as much as possible uh, because when you're adding then in details in uh, texturing you have less issues with anti-aliasing because of angles. All right, this is looking pretty good I think. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So we now have a fully UV'd mesh. Um, if I turn on the checker, you can see that the checkers are all nice and square, that the grip and the handle, which are the same material, the checkers are the same size, and all of the pieces of the handle, which will all have the same material, are also the same size. So this is all looking pretty good. So we now have a successfully UV mapped hammer.